Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Blackboard Learn. Today we're going to take a look at the content menu in Blackboard. The content menu in a Blackboard course is found on the left hand side. And what the content menu really is, is a navigation structure for your course. So all the items in your content menu can be rearranged, renamed, or removed completely. So it's really important to take a look at that content menu so that you can prepare your course for the coming semester. So to get started, you have to take a look and make sure your edit mode is turned on. I'll actually turn edit mode off for a moment just to give you an idea what it looks like. When the edit mode is turned off, you'll just have links over on the left hand side. Once you click on a link, it's going to open the specific area and show the information that is associated with that link. I'm going to go back and turn edit mode on. And now when you highlight these items, you're going to notice that they'll have a little up and down icon on the left and a drop down arrow on the right. The up and down arrow gives you the ability to rearrange your items in the menu. So you just drag and drop and you're able to place that item where you like. So if I highlight an item and I click the drop down arrow, it's going to open a context menu. It's going to give you some specific tools to manipulate that item. Now depending on what kind of item you click, the menu may look a little different. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Bring my announcements back up there. Okay, so let's get into how you manipulate this menu. You see how you can move them up and down and open that context menu to edit things that have already been put in there. Uh, how do you add a new item? What we'll do is you'll highlight this plus sign and you'll be given a list of different things you can drop into your menu. So uh, there's a content area, which is generally a blank folder. A blank page would just be a page of information that you'd want the students to see that you would create within Blackboard. A tool link would link to a tool that is within Blackboard. So that could be a discussion board, a blog, wiki, the various tools that are available within Blackboard. You also have a web link that can link to any external website. And a course link links to another area within the course. So if you have a few items nested down into a few folders, you can link to it directly on your course content menu. And finally, you have a subheader and a divider. The subheader gives you the ability to type in a specific name and divide content, and the divider is just a line that breaks up your content in the menu. So I'm going to start by adding another content area into my course. Click on Content Area. I'm going to give it a name. Assignments is a great name and a great folder to put in there at the beginning of semester. Now right when you're creating a new content area, you're going to have the ability to make it available to users right off the bat. Right now, I'm not going to make this available by users, so I'm going to leave that checkbox blank. I'll hit Submit. And my item's going to be added to the bottom of my list. Now it's going to show you two icons. One of the icons is the slash through it box, and that's just saying that you do not have it available for users to see. The box to the right of that is just letting you know that there is no information in the content area. So you'll also notice that up here on course documents, there's no information in this content area. I'm going to go ahead and rearrange this item, bring it to the render to my course documents, and I'm going to add one more content area. I'm going to call it tests. top of the list. And so there we go. We have a few items within Blackboard. Kind of makes a little bit more sense. All my documents that are my syllabus, my uh, policies will go in course documents. Any of the assignments I have I can drop into assignments and then when I start doing testing and put test information I could put that into the test folder. So this is just an example of how I might use some of these content areas, but let's start developing it out so you can see the benefit of using different content menu items. First off, I'll go into my course documents, and I'm just going to add an item. Call this one Syllabus. So you notice right when I add an item, that little box disappears off to the right. So that's good. Now we know that uh, students will be able to access that item within Blackboard. Now if I add something into the Assignments folder, I'm going to go ahead and just add another item and call this one Assign1. The box is going to disappear, but the, the box the slash will not. Now let me show you what's going to happen if I turn off the edit mode. It's going to give you an approximation as to what the menu would look like in a student view. So right now, since we're editing these items, they have to be visible so we can go in there and add more content and get them ready. Or if we're, when we're ready to turn them on, we can turn them on. But if I turn edit mode off, everything's going to disappear and only the items that are supposed to be visible will be visible. 
turn the edit mode back on, and go to my assignments, open the context menu, and click on show link to remove the box with a slash through it. Now again, if I turn my edit mode to off, you're going to notice assignment stays on there. So I can click between the two different folders of documents that I might have in Blackboard. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn edit mode back on one more time and talk about some of the other items you're seeing in this menu, specifically tools. So announcements is considered a tool and so is discussions. Those are two different tools that can be utilized in Blackboard and I have direct links to those tools in this menu structure. Now if you're a student and you've been asked to do a blog post within Blackboard but you don't have a direct link to the tool, it still can be done. Students will just have to click on the BB Tools link and it's going to show all the tools that are available within Blackboard. So you'll notice here's the announcements tool or here's the discussion board tool. It's basically the exact same link as you see here, announcements and discussions. It's just that we decided to put them in this menu structure. So to really drive this point home, let's say we did want to link to blogs directly in our content menu. Instead of having students go right through this BB Tools menu, I can go up to the plus sign, click Tool Link. I'll type in the word blogs. You can really name it whatever you want it to be called. It will link to a specific tool though. And then you pick which tool you want to link to. So I'll click on blogs and I will make this available to users. So once I set that up, the blogs link is now in my content menu. I can put it where I feel would be a good place to drop it in my list. And now when I uh, I'll go ahead and turn my edit mode off for a moment. And let's say I just got in my course, I see my announcements and knew that I need to go and post in my blog, click right on the blogs link, and now I'm in the blogs tool. And I can start doing my blog within the course. 